Have you ever pondered about the immensity of the universe in which we live? It's a question that has intrigued thinkers, philosophers, and scientists for millennia. The scope of the universe, its vastness, is a riddle of complexity that tickles the human mind, driving us to explore and understand. We find ourselves in a universe so vast, so incredibly enormous, that it defies human comprehension. Imagine this, the Earth, our home, is but a tiny speck in comparison to the cosmic arena. Our solar system with all its planets and celestial bodies is merely a small corner in the grand scheme of our galaxy. And our galaxy, the Milky Way, is just one among the estimated 2 trillion galaxies that make up the universe. Yes, you heard it right, 2 trillion galaxies, each with billions of stars, and each star potentially with its own system of planets, it's almost like an infinite cosmic nesting doll. Now, here's a mind-bending fact. Our universe is not static, it's constantly expanding. This means that the cosmic boundaries we perceive now are not the same as they were a moment ago, and they won't be the same in the next moment. The universe is stretching out in all directions every second of every day. It's like we're on a never-ending cosmic journey, moving further and further into the vastness of space. This very thought can be overwhelming, and you're not alone in feeling so. The vastness of the universe is a concept that challenges our understanding, pushing the limits of our cognition. It's a complex riddle, one that we're still trying to solve. And yet, it's this very complexity and vastness that fuels our curiosity, our desire to learn more, to explore further, to venture into the unknown. Understanding the size of the universe can be mind-boggling, but let's journey together through the immensity of it. As we embark on this cosmic journey, remember every step we take is a step into uncharted territory, a step closer to unraveling the mysteries of the universe. So, buckle up, and let's dive into the cosmic sea. The part of the universe that we can observe from Earth is known as the observable universe. Now, let's dive deeper into this concept. Imagine you're standing on a hilltop on a clear moonless night. As you look up, you see an array of stars twinkling in the dark expanse above. Each of these stars is part of our observable universe. But why can't we see beyond it? The answer lies in the speed of light. You see, light travels at a mind-boggling speed of about 186,000 miles per second. Despite its speed, light still takes time to reach us. When we gaze at a distant star, we're actually seeing the light that star emitted years or even centuries ago. This means that when we look into the depths of space, we're effectively looking back in time. The farther away a celestial body is, the older the light we see from it. But there's a limit to how far back we can see, simply because there hasn't been enough time in the universe's history for light from beyond a certain point to reach us. So, how big is our observable universe? Well, it's estimated to be about 93 billion light years in diameter. To give you a sense of scale if we shrunk the observable universe down to the size of the Earth, our Milky Way galaxy would be smaller than a grain of sand, and our entire solar system, it would be smaller than a single atom. It's important to note however that the observable universe is not the entire universe, it's just the part we can see from our vantage point on Earth. The actual size of the universe could be infinitely larger or even infinite. So, even in our observable universe we are but a tiny speck. Imagine what lies beyond our observable universe, in the uncharted territories of the cosmos. A thought that has puzzled and intrigued scientists, astronomers and thinkers for centuries. As we peer into the depths of space, we are only able to observe a finite part of the universe, a cosmic neighborhood if you will. But what lies beyond this observable universe? Let's delve into some theories. One of the most tantalizing theories is the concept of multiverses. It suggests that our universe could be just one of an infinite number of universes, each with its own laws of physics dimensions and even time flows. Picture it as a cosmic lottery. We exist in the universe we do because it's the one where the conditions were just right for life as we know it to develop. But what about the others? They might be barren and inhospitable, or they might be teeming with forms of life that defy our understanding. Parallel universes on the other hand, propose the existence of universes that run alongside our own, like pages in a never-ending book. They might be almost identical to ours, with slight differences that have led to vastly different outcomes. Maybe in one of these universes, dinosaurs never went extinct. Or perhaps in another, you're the one giving this talk about the mysteries of the cosmos. However, these are just theories, fascinating as they are. The fact remains that the total size of our universe, observable and non, is still unknown. 
We are limited by the speed of light and our current technology. We can only observe as far as light has had the chance to reach us since the Big Bang, around 13.8 billion years ago. Beyond our cosmic neighborhood, there's a vast expanse of unknown territory waiting to be explored. The universe, in its unending vastness, continues to remain a mystery, a riddle in the heart of darkness beckoning us to uncover its secrets. It's a journey into the unknown, a journey that humanity has only just begun. Grasping the universe's size is no easy task. It's like trying to comprehend infinity, a concept that's as mind-boggling as the universe itself. Let's talk about the challenges scientists face when they try to measure the universe. First, there's the sheer immensity of it. It's so vast that we have to use light years to describe distances, and even then, the numbers are almost unimaginable. A light year, the distance that light travels in one year, is about 6 trillion miles, and the observable universe is estimated to be 93 billion light years in diameter. Then there's the issue of tools. Our most powerful telescopes can see billions of light years away, but even they have their limits. The Hubble Space Telescope, for instance, can only see as far as the light that has had time to reach us since the Big Bang. We're essentially looking into the past, which brings us to another challenge, time. The universe is not static, it's expanding. And the farther away an object is, the faster it's moving away from us due to this cosmic expansion. This means that some parts of the universe are moving away from us faster than the speed of light. And since nothing can travel faster than light, those parts of the universe are forever out of our view. The speed of light itself also complicates things. When we look at a star that's a billion light years away, we're seeing it as it was a billion years ago. We can't see it as it is right now. So in a way, we're always looking at a universe that no longer exists. In the face of these challenges, scientists use a combination of observations, calculations, and theories to try to understand the universe's size. They use tools like telescopes and satellites and methods like redshift measurements and cosmic background radiation analysis. Despite these tools and methods, the universe's size remains elusive. It's a grand puzzle, a mystery that continues to captivate us. The universe's size, a challenge that continues to puzzle the greatest minds of humanity. Understanding the universe's size gives us a unique perspective about our place in it. This statement brings forth a profound realization that stirs our perception of reality, doesn't it? We live on a blue planet, spinning around a fiery ball, in an infinite cosmic arena. This is no mere poetic sentiment but a scientific fact that highlights our tiny existence in the grandeur of the cosmos. Our understanding of the universe's size can profoundly affect our worldview. It's like standing at the edge of a vast ocean or atop a towering mountain, feeling small yet connected to something much larger. The universe's immensity, in all its awe-inspiring glory, offers a humbling perspective. We are but a small speck in the cosmos, a single planet among billions in our galaxy, which in itself is one of the billions in the universe. The realization of our minuscule place in the universe might seem overwhelming, even disheartening to some. But let's flip the perspective. Our planet, Earth, despite its relatively small size, has given birth to life. To us, beings capable of understanding and exploring this vast universe. We've peered into the cosmic depths, discovered galaxies far away, and started to unravel the secrets of the universe. Our capacity to explore and understand the universe is a testament to our potential as a species. It's a testament to our innate curiosity, our relentless pursuit of knowledge, and our unwavering resilience in the face of the unknown. It's a testament to the human spirit that refuses to be confined by physical boundaries. In this enormous universe we've crafted tools of exploration, built theories of existence and dared to dream beyond our earthly confines. Our impact, our significance, isn't defined by our physical size but by our intellectual capacity and our insatiable curiosity. In the grand scheme of the universe we might be small, but our curiosity and thirst for knowledge make us immeasurable. We're not just a part of the universe, we're the universe's way of understanding itself. And that, my friends, is an incredible perspective to contemplate.